Hello, it's Jen from Winrose Fiber Studio. I just finished cleaning my studio and I'm so proud of its tidiness that I decided to take a little video. I'm actually aiming the camera at the wall next to the door where I have a bunch of vintage purses hanging. These are purses that I made years ago when I first started weaving. That one is the very first purse I ever wove. Up above the purses I just that's a little hodgepodge of business cards and gifts from students and little keepsakes. On the wall is kind of a fun and silly door knocker that I made some years ago. And then if I turn, then you can look into the room. The sun is pouring in right now. That's my favorite workspace right there. You can see I've got snacks in my computer. It's close to all the books. Very important, all the books. So I'm going to walk in the studio. On this wall, I keep some of my bulk wool, my dyes. I've got my little travel wheel there. You know, I've got the spindles that I sell. And this, this basket holds all my crochet hooks and cords and needles and all that handy stuff that you need to be able to reach out and just grab when you need it. There's a basket full of wool legs waiting to be spun. This corner cupboard used to be in my dining room many moons ago and now it's just used to hold miscellaneous stuff. This chair is from the World Market and I love it because when I'm in here working late and I get tired I can actually um, elongate it. It folds out to become a little day bed so I can take working naps which is a very good thing. In the corner is where I keep some of my books. I have to admit there's surplus that didn't quite fit on that shelf. And then I guess flanking the window, it's going to be hard to see with the light pouring in. I've got this little red chair, which is actually a nice uh, a nice height and firmness for spinning. So when I, whoops, sorry about the finger, when I spin in here, that's where I sit. On either side of it are my stands holding hand spun yarn. Let me see if I can get away from the light so you can see how full they are at hand spun. And then, getting away from that lighted window, I have kind of my wall of shelves. I actually stacked tables on top of each other. The top one holds my carters and, uh, you know, my uh, rigid heddle loom, a couple looms. And these bags are all different kinds of dyed wool and, and fibers that are all in bags within the bag, all organized. Way up high on this wall is my spindle knot scarf project, which means spider web in Swedish, which is a, an, internal, an eternal work in progress. Someday it may get finished, someday it may get ripped off, and I may move on. So that, one more cruise around is my newly clean studio.